and hello hello my name is Kamis Meshkonis and I'm the founder of hostmarie.com and this is a short tutorial on how you can create a MySQL database using your Stack CP dashboard and of course the cloud uh, the cloud hosting is offered to you by host to host Maria in partnership with the 20i data centers thank you and let us move in so the task is very very simple so this is a tutorial for everybody who want to do this manually okay so uh, let me take off the things that will make this process easier for you to view. OK, the first things first, you need to log into your Stack CP dashboard. Once again, it is not cPanel. cPanel is one of many, many hosting uh, hosting dashboards. And this, this one is called Stack CP, so Stack CP dashboard. OK, so what we, did, what we need to do, uh, please scroll down to the section called Web Tools. Once we are here, please click on the this subsection called MySQL databases. Once you're here, now this is uh, much, the process is much simpler than it would be at Stacks, uh, at, at the cPanel. So here we go. Up here, please create a database name. The database name must be between six and 20 characters long. And you will actually have, you will actually see this down here. So let us just make name. Uh, database data, uh, database database one and click on create database so up here you will see successfully created database and your user is the same this name and your password in is this so in C, uh, in cpanel usually you would create uh, a, uh, a database then you would create a user then you would uh, then you would uh, add privileges and all that other good stuff. In this case, everything is sorted for you. Your, your database name is this one. The username is exactly the same. Up here, you can see on the top, your user is the same name. And your password is here. If you don't like this password, you can make it, you can make it something simple. Password and then give some numbers that you like. You want exclamation mark save bang and that is that and your server name is not localhost here you will see the server server name okay and up and then from this section you'll be able to go and directly log into your database and there you are and if you want to import i uh, import then you will choose choose a file here so this was a short tutorial for you on how you can create a MySQL database, how you can do this process manually using Stack CP dashboard. Isn't it easy? Super. And thank you. And my name is Helms Meshkonis, and it is hostmaria.com. And please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. I'm constantly up updating, uh, updating it with different uh, interviews with the main industry professionals. And also regularly, times by times, I create uh, video tutorials on different aspects on how you can master using sexy P dashboard and it will allow you to become a better webmaster. Thank you and have a great, great, great day.